I'm Tom Beaumont, a national political correspondent for the Associated Press based in Des Moines. And today we're going to be talking about former President Donald Trump and the huge shadow he casts over the 2024 Iowa caucuses. Despite being twice impeached and four times indicted, there seems to be something in the Republican ethos nationally, but certainly at play here in Iowa, where he's won twice. Hello, Iowa. I'm thrilled to be back. A willingness to look past those things that he's been accused of. What we have learned in the course of months and months of reporting in Iowa, talking to dozens and dozens of voters, is that the opinions of Trump are very complex. Certainly there are people who would never vote for Trump who are Republicans. Certainly there are people who are Republicans who would only vote for Trump. But the vast middle is this mixture of people with feelings that are supportive of Trump, but who are looking for someone else who would default to Trump if they didn't see somebody rising that they think could be a strong alternative. A lot of these people think that he has been persecuted, that the indictments against him are politically motivated. That is a common theme that we hear. And that he might not be able to win or govern effectively if he were to be nominated and elected. Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina. Trump has not campaigned in Iowa nearly as often as his competitors. For one thing, he doesn't need to. He's near universally known. He can draw 3,000 inside an airplane hangar or you know, some sort of gymnasium. The people there working for the campaign are processing the people who come through the door. So these are thousands of potential caucus goers. Now Trump says that he has tens of thousands of signed pledge cards. DeSantis says he has tens of thousands of signed pledge cards. But state party officials and the campaigns themselves are projecting more than 187,000 people are going to turn out. So it's going to require more than tens of thousands to reach the margins that these campaigns see for themselves in either winning or challenging Trump. But Trump's campaign is vastly different than it was. It's vastly more disciplined. And within a month to go, he remains the dominant front runner.